feeling temperature wise? You feeling good? It is a nice, yeah, it's a nice temp. It's 66 degrees. It's that Arizona weather where it's like, um, I'm driving in my car and I have my jacket on, Ooh, but I nice. will be turning the AC on as well. Okay. You know what I mean? Those are the days. Those, Those are, are the, the days. days. Are you the type of sleeper, Josh, that when you go to bed, you go and you put the air on because you're hot, but then you put the blanket on too because you want that comfort? Oh, yeah, definitely. Okay. Definitely. All Absolutely. Right. Every night. You know, I complain to my wife about that, but then again, I have ne I don't think I've ever really just slept without blankets. You need that comfort. That's how we that's how we were born. I mean, that's how we were pre-born. We were pre-born with a like ovary blanket that just goes I'm, over you. You know, I'm not gonna lie. It. Yeah. That's I think it, you're onto something there. That's where it originated. You know what? We're gonna patent this right now. Ovary blankets. Ovary blankets. I feel like a woman should probably patent this, but we're going to beat them to it. Oh, man. Yeah. I mean, men come up with the best ideas. So uh, obviously it's coming up with us. We're getting canceled already. Okay. You're not lying. <laughs> oh, man. What a great way to start this podcast, alienating 50% of the world. And that's how we do it. I Let's mean, be I real. Like it's 75% probably now, but. Probably. Who run the world? We'll let you figure that out. Yeah, that's a rhetorical question. I mean, <laughs> yeah. But we all run the world. We all. In one way or another. Run, that's right. Did you wink to the camera? I don't know. Uh, yeah, we all know who runs the world, you know? I just didn't know. Yeah. <laughs> was it Dude, you and I winked the same, by the way. It was a hard wink. Dude, that was the hardest wink I may have seen in a long time. My winks are doing push ups. Like, oh my God. Do you wink at the gym? My wink just came out of jail. So it definitely goes to the gym i can tell it's on parole ah <laughs> you, you, you got me ah you got me there you right. winked at yeah. me hard yeah. that was oh i felt you know i like it but i don't know if i should like it yeah i'm scared about what that wink possesses right but anyways enough about winks dude i don't know when the last time i like hung out with you was bro mm. it's been a minute since we've like chilled it's been how's trash or treasure been 47 days oh. <laughs> yeah. trash or treasure has been you see the the scratch marks in the wall that's the number of days that i haven't had Joshua James Boyle in my life. Contact with me. Oh man, no contact. You're looking pretty healthy. Thank you. Well, I appreciate that. I fill the void with snacks. Right. Mm, little Debbies. That's how I, I call them little Joshies because I feel like it just gives me the comfort and the belly pleasure that you give me. You give me so much belly pleasure. And I just have to say, man, let's, I mean, should we go back to the beginning of where we first met? Yeah. Do you remember? Hmm. Oh man! Oh, oh I'm no, so no, sorry. No, no. I, you no, 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 I remember the first time we met in person. Okay. Because we met originally online. Mm-hmm. Reached out to me on Facebook, asked him to do a project. I showed you my dick. And I was just like, "All right, cool." You know, okay, medium size. Just kidding. Very large. <laughs> no, Very large. no, we can tell the truth. It's like mm, it's a little, little tiny guy. And I was like, "All right, yeah, I'm down to do your project." It was, it was like that. No, but uh, what did we do? <laughs> we went hiking, right? And we went hiking. I brought a backpack. With my drone in it. Yep. Yeah, that's right. Oh, yep. man. You yep. actually gave me that line for my entrepreneur joke. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, it was super cool because I was like, man, this Josh, he's just full of good energy. And you're so positive, And you were just like that in real life, too. <laughs> Thank and you. you brought your drone out because you wanted to fuck me. And so I was you brought trying it to out. Impress. And I was like, you don't even need to bring the drone out. I'm ready for this. We need to go maybe like a quarter mile out. Right. And that's fine. We're in North Mountain. And I was like, Stefan's like, you don't need to bring the drone. And I was like, I'm so bringing the drone. You were so, it, oh, I, I was like, I'm going to drone the fuck out of you. <laughs> and then I like unpacked the drone, turned it on. And for whatever reason, the remote like was not syncing with the drone and we couldn't get it up. That's right. Yeah. That's right. We could, unfortunately, <laughs> we couldn't get it up. I mean, I was hard the whole time. You were just happy. It wasn't like drugs coming out of my backpack. I remember. You I would have like, been happier. Well, but, I remember you were like, I so thought you were going to break. Those were drugs. <laughs> I'm really, it's just drugs. Dude, you take me on a hike with a backpack full of shit. And I'm like, it's either guns or drugs, not a drone. There's no way it could be a drone. And it was a drone. Yeah. And I'm like, this does look like I'm a drug dealer. Oh my God. I've been wearing this backpack a lot. Yeah. And in you public. had the hat. You had the hat yeah. on. So people couldn't see the bill right. was shielding your eyes. Yeah. People couldn't identify you. I had you. the cell phone out. You know what I mean? Yeah. I was your classic, like, early 2000s drug dealer. Like, if I was in high school wearing that, acting like that, I would have been a drug dealer. You, you know were making, mean? people were calling you and you were like, I said I'll get it to you when I get it to you. And then. I was like, no, no cut. 
pure, <laughs> no cut. And I'm talking about comedy. I'll get you that raw, pure, unfiltered files for your stand up yeah, exactly. for that five minutes. <laughs> exactly. It was I good. shot in raw. Don't worry, not JPEG. Dude, how many the- how many projects have you raw dogged? Because it's been. <laughs> <laughs> Um, in the sense <laughs> of raw dogging, in the sense of projects, elaborate a little bit more for that, so I can uh, give you a clearer answer. <laughs> so you shoot them in, in just raw? Do you? Oh, gotcha. Let, let's talk about and let's. I think this is the the You're talking raw about video production, right? The rawest. <laughs> yeah. Did you see that wink? Was that a subtle one? That was a soft wink. It was a so- It was like a nice, gentle wink that you would expect if you're just getting out of the elevator. And then you see somebody that's going onto the elevator and you're getting out and they pass by and they give that nice wink. <laughs> that's what I imagined. And then you never see him again. It's a nice subtle wink. Got you. And as we go up to the next floor, I wanted to talk a little bit about you, your, oh, I thought you were going to pull out your watch and be like, okay, how much time do we fucking <laughs> got? Fucking time is in. <laughs> <laughs> but you forgot your watch. So uh, you don't know. We'll mm, keep it a mystery. Good thing. I'm a millennial. We keep these on deck. Oh, oh man. Anyways. Oh. But it's great to have you. It's I don't fine. know why I said it in an accent. It's great to have you. Oh, here it's great to be at here. At the Stavis. Comedy Advice Podcast. And it's so cool to hang with you. And I mean, I want to get to know a little bit more about you. I want my audience to get to know a little bit more about you. Because you're just a great dude. You really are super positive. You've I always... That. I feel like we were just talking about this before the pod too. How... So many people, they see comedy and they see whatever they're doing outside of comedy too. If somebody's doing the same thing, it's a competition and people Uh, are comparing themselves against other people. And I feel like, first off, you're killing it. You're like the best drug dealer on the block (laughs) and also a great video production guy. And (laughs) you recently, you did video for Eric Griffin at Stand Up Live for Andrew Santino, who's one of my favorite comics in the world and uh, many others and you did yeah i mean you even do it for local you did for local comics i still have my raw dog footage that you filmed me yeah at jp's comedy club shout out jp's yeah oh yeah <laughs> jay jay pizzle jay pizzle <laughs> i don't know how to make that sound less white but some things just the rolling um, r was almost there yeah, uh, yeah. I tried to machine gun it a little bit, a little oozy. But I feel you've done such great stuff. I love the stuff that you've done for me. You also did Trash or Treasure while we were able to afford it, which was awesome. And you did an awesome job. I still am getting through the actual editing of it. But what I've done, I've done like 20 minutes of episode one. And it's been nice. Mm, chef's kiss. Chef's so kiss. Perfect. I'm, and, yeah. and, you're, and you're not just doing that. I mean, you're, well, let's talk about it, though. You've been doing this for a hot minute and you were working, doing another job and you decided to just jump into this. Yeah. What was the, what was the moment, the defining moment where you were like, fuck it, I'm just going to go full into VP. Um, yeah. So I was working at a call center for like two and a half years. Damn. And I was kind of like under that notion where, you know, if I just put in more hours, I'll get more money Mm. and I'll be happier. Yeah. And it's just not the case. And when you do like live a life like that and it's you're, you know, working doing something that you don't like doing, you know, after two and a half years, enough's enough. Like you're just gonna hit that wall where it's like you're either gonna find another shitty job or you're just gonna like step back and be like, What do I really wanna do? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like for real. Like what what do I see myself doing? Where I wake up and I'm like, yeah, this is what I'm doing. You know what I mean? Yeah. And um, like, because I, I just had too many of those Mondays where you just wake up on a Monday early in the morning. Yeah. You know what I mean? And you're just like, fuck. Oh, like, not the worst in a good feeling way. ever. Yeah. yeah. Like that Sunday yeah. night. What is was like, you know what I mean? And for me now, it's like, I crave Mondays. Like, I love Mondays. I love it's the restart to a week. It's like, how much. It's literally how much stuff can I get done? But honestly, because I do everything that I like, love doing, it's like how much fun stuff can I pack in one week? Oh, man. Dude, you know what I, I mean? I've like, had cravings for a lot of things, but Mondays have not yet been one of them. Yeah. So I look up to you, man, because I feel, yeah. well, two and a half years, that's a little short. So I'm glad that you ended up just loving what you do. So good for you, man. I feel well, like that was like the last. That... Okay, let me like. Yeah, yeah. So that was like the last job, right? Okay. But I was like, 
I'm 32, so I've been working like jobs I don't like from the age of like uh, eight when I was like picking weeds for my dad at his like properties. Uh, I just imagine you at a call center at eight years old. No, sir. Um, that was the last job. That was when that was the job where you're just like, I had enough. I've had Damn. enough. I don't know this. I've probably I was one of those people that just like went through so many different jobs. Like my resume could be anything from like a freaking delivery driver to call center to like website designer to production. You know what I mean? Video so, person. So you're saying there's nothing you can't do? Pretty much. I don't know. I don't know. I you, can't change a tire. Just kidding. Oh, come on. You, you <laughs> definitely. Yeah, yeah. That mustache can change a tire. Yeah, it by did. My girlfriend showed me how last summer and I can now change a tire. You know what I mean? <laughs> Right in front of my family, but it's okay. Anyways, um, it did did that really happen? It did. Shout out to my girlfriend Sarah. Oh, Sarah, she's oh, a sweetheart. Sarah, and she knows how to use a wrench. Whoa, um, oh man, she knows how to get things rolling. Yeah, that's great. But getting back to like what you were saying too, even before about like competition and stuff. Yeah, is like, um, like the first step for me was like realizing what I'm doing is like not what I want to do. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I'm like, this is not fun for me. I don't like what I'm doing. And you then know? how long How long were you doing comedy while you were at the call center job? Or or even before that, how long yeah, have you before. been doing comedy? So I've been doing comedy since 2018. I got that job okay. in 2019. Okay. And yeah, I was just like, this, is, this isn't this working. You know what I mean? So you have to make a change. Right. So I just like hit up my boss and I was just like, Yo, how much? Are they, how much is in that four hundred one k? Is that how you started the conversation? Yo, no, definitely nice. Oh, so you and your boss were pretty cool. Oh yeah, definitely. Okay, I've always been cool with the bosses. I've never, I've only, actually out of all the jobs I've had, I've only been fired from one. Well, ah, what job was it? Was delivery. it picking weeds from your dad? No, yeah, <laughs> your dad's right. like, son, this isn't working out. Dude, I tried to get fired from that job <laughs> so hard, <laughs> and he was just like, nope, you're still coming. I'm like, I called you an asshole to your face. <laughs> like, oh god. And he's just like, no, you're still picking weeds the next day. But, oh um, shit, dude! If I had a weed picking company, I'd call it Pain in the Grass. Ah, that's good. Oh, fuck. That is good. Too bad I. That's like the worst thing for me. I hate. I had to pick weeds I think too. You, we should just buy that domain and then sell it. Pain in the grass, I, dude. I love it. That is very good. Mm, thank you. All right. Wow. Well, weeding out bad jobs is what you were doing, and you were yeah. talking about getting. What was the one you got fired from? Um, Antonio's Pizza, East Hampton, Massachusetts. Oh, shout outs. Well, yeah, no, they maybe they not. had. Or I don't know. I haven't had their pizza in a long time, like over almost ten years now. But. Like okay. when I had their pizza back in the day, it was good. But, um, okay. Okay. What was funny, <laughs> like looking back now, you know what I mean? Yeah. It was like one of those jobs where I'll admit it. I was like, just smoking way too much weed back in the day. It was the second job. And, um, I Fair thought enough. you were like 10 at this time. <laughs> no, <laughs> 21. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> and, right. um, it was one of those jobs where you go in and they're like, all right, you, I either worked like a Friday or a Saturday. It wasn't both. Okay. And so I would always get them mixed up. So like a couple weeks in a row, I'd show up on a Saturday and they'd be like, bro, you were supposed to be here yesterday. And I'm like, I am so sorry. Okay. I promise I won't mess it up next time. Right. Right. Next week comes and I'm supposed to be working a Saturday, not a Friday. So I came in for the Friday or no. Yeah. So I came in for the Friday and somehow just still got it switched up. And that Saturday I didn't go to work. I was at a party. And I ordered pizza from them. Oh my! Is this part of your comedy routine? No, because this is be, right? this is beautiful. So I called up Antonio's, and okay. I'll never forget it. <laughs> this fucking bitch named Megan answered, and um, what a bitch! I hate that bitch. Anyways, um, she hey, answered, uh, hello, welcome to Antonio's. And then no, she was nicer. Like she was like, welcome okay. to Antonio's. Okay, <clears throat> and then she's like, I'm like, yo, I'd like two party sized pizzas. And then she goes, oh, my God, is this Josh? Josh? And I'm just like, yeah, what's up? And she goes, you're supposed to be working. Um, No, you can't have these pizzas. And hung up on me, dog. Oh, my God, yeah. dude. She, oh. she hung up. She hung up on me. I was about to buy two party-sized pizzas. So I did what any person would do. Okay. I had another person order it. And we still got those pizzas, baby. Oh, smart. I like it. And I then like I got it. the phone call, like it was like 9 a.m. sharp from the owner. And the owner, God rest his soul, one of those like 
Did he die? Did this he kill did. him? He passed. No. Oh, God. So, probably something much tougher killed him. Oh, God. He's like, <laughs> he, oh, Joshua, I keep so good mixing yeah, no, up this, the dates. <laughs> this dude was tough. Like, Oh, damn. Yeah. Was he Italian? Yeah. And, nice. Um, nice. Like, I think he was, I could be so wrong in this, but I think he was like a Rhode Island Italian. Oh, those are the worst kind. Those yeah. are the most. Dude, have you ever seen a Rhode Island Italian wink? Yeah, I'm like, I don't know where this is going. <laughs> me neither. <laughs> but um, so he calls me in. I've never talked to the dude before. It was okay. like no one ever talks to the dude. No one gets to see him. You know what I mean? Because he was oh. kind of like, I don't know if he was mafia, but yeah, I, I felt like he was mafia. You know what I mean? If you, yeah, dude. If you got a pizza joint and you're never around. A couple pizza joints. Okay. A couple pizza joints? Yeah. I mean, yeah, it was good pizza. The... But yeah. yeah. So, we, so like, they're like, yeah. I forgot what his name is. We'll just call him Antonio. They're like, Antonio. It's fair. Wants to talk to you. And it's I'm a like, good guess, yeah. I'm like, oh, okay. Wow, he wants to talk to me. Oh, wow. You know what I mean? So, I'm go- so this dude is so tough, right? He owns all these pizza places, and he's down in the basement folding boxes. Pizza boxes. That's how much of a G he is. Damn. He's like, there's not enough pizza boxes. To- well, we need pizza boxes. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Damn, right away, dude. I see him folding pizza boxes. I'm like, he, I am screwed. Was he putting money in the pizza boxes? He could have been, but he locked eyes with me as soon as I like made the last step and I looked up so that I he could have been like, you know, chopping up flesh. And yeah, I, oh, of I course. I would have known. You know oh, what I mean? Oh, God. And I was just like, he like made sure our eyes like locked. So I walked down. He's like, Joshua. <laughs> and I'm like, whoa, knows my name. Oh, and he's like, you got good, you got a great worth ethic, but you can't tell time, so can't work here. Oh shit! And I was like, fair enough, dude. I was like, thank you for the opportunity. I was like, I love your pizza. I'll definitely come back and I'll recommend it. And he goes, it's all I can ask for. Have a good one, kid. Nice. Pick up your check on the way out. You're like, I'll get it on Monday. He's like, like, today's like, Monday. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, he's like, make sure you pick it up. Yeah, right. <laughs> but I was just like, wow. And that was the only job that I ever left, like, feeling bad. Like, I've quit plenty of jobs. Right, 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 right. And right. I like, felt so good after. Yeah, yeah. But that was the one where, like, I was like, wow. Maybe if I knew the owner. Yeah. I would, I don't know. You I'd still, be, you working, told I'd still be working there, you know? <laughs> Damn, dude. Damn. So that, what a G though to call you to the basement. I don't know, by the way, if that's a good place for health reasons to be packing boxes. I'm sure there's dust. Was it a clean basement or was it? I only went to that basement once, bro. Uh, fair enough. That's yeah. probably what a lot of people said too. They only went to that basement once. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, dude, and but the, the he, sh- I like him. I like this guy already. Because he, he showed you the respect of like, hey, come down here to my basement. Yeah. And, and I immediately like was just, yes, sir. <laughs> Whatever you need to talk about, we can yeah. talk about. And I am so sorry. <laughs> you know I mean? oh. Yeah. I'm a dirtbag. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. damn. So when did you move? You were in Massachusetts. When did you make the move from Massachusetts to Phoenix? Mm. Or were there other stops in between? So I left Massachusetts February of uh, 2015. Okay. And arrived in Arizona February of 2015. <laughs> that yeah. is so pretty straight on, you magical. know what I'm saying? Magical. Yeah, February 2nd I think I touched Arizona Flagstaff. Oh, okay. I went in that like um We're touched in What was that uh so if you go into Arizona, right? Arizona's a huge state, so the northeast where you come in like, oh, that the... way. Okay. Okay. Like from uh like that like Colorado area. Okay. You yeah. I mean? yeah. So I just remember, like, it's the first time I ever seen a sign for an elk. Oh yeah, they're pretty interesting. And I was just like, "Whoa!" And my dad's like, "Yeah, they don't got deer here, Joshua. They just got elk." And I'm like, "Wow, that's what this is like the animal like Joe Rogan was talking about." You know what I mean? Like, that's right. Yeah, we I'm eat like, it wow. and then we make DMT from it. It's yeah, just so good. Just mm. Elk, yeah. Just carnal. We just rip it open. It's so Although, good, and we use their pelts. This is actually elk jacket is it do you know where to get elk to eat oh yeah there? dude uh, yeah. i know this guy antonio if you go to his basement he opens these boxes and they're just the, yeah i actually well i hunted with my dad when i was younger and we would hunt for elk and you're from i got here? i got two nice you're from arizona um yeah nice yeah. okay yeah dude yeah well Northern. i definitely if anyone knows where there's like an elk shop or 
or a restaurant that serves elk. Let me know. They, they call them elk bistros here. Do they really? They call them elk delis. Elk delis. Yo, shout out to the elk delis. Elk delis. Ah. Yo. Um, but yeah, they. I mean, sh- this is the coolest part. My wife, she's very jealous. Is we would hunt, we'd get our elk, and then we'd bring it to a butcher. The butcher would. I mean, we would have to deskin it and everything, but then the butcher would go. You would deskin it. Yeah. You deskin some elk, yeah. Bro. You yeah yeah you know how to skin you some should stuff, check yeah. my you should check my oh yeah I know how to skin some stuff <laughs> yeah. oh, why don't yeah. I see it on the Instagram then huh, Stefan? oh yeah you know, Instagram did flag it and put it down because <laughs> yeah. I started wearing the pelts and just trying oh, to my God, fuck around it. in it yeah. yeah just scare people to say I was an elk yeah, I go in the middle of the road I'm gonna omit something right now like seeing Please. Stefan skin a dead animal would be <laughs> how did the skinning motion go because <laughs> <laughs> oh. I've skinned plenty of things. <laughs> not even close bro this is how i skinned it <clears throat> got the knife and then i said dad could you do this one i'll do the next one dad and then i just kept doing that for three more times until oh, i didn't hunt anymore that yeah. is so funny so oh that's <laughs> i will tell you man my first elk i got it and then um my brothers they were in the car too and my uncle and my dad were there and we were skinning so i was there with my dad and uncle my two brothers, they were fighting and they were like, I don't know, six and eight. The six year old, he starts to hear coyotes and he's like, what's that? My uncle goes, that's the sound of monsters that'll eat little kids that don't nah. stop fighting. And he just rolled the window up and he didn't talk the rest of the day. That's hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. He still doesn't talk, actually. He's still afraid. He's 30 years old and he's still afraid. That's the trick, huh? Of that. Yeah. So I just got to play the coyote noises nice but anyway so you touched you touched arizona soil in february 2015 and you've been damn dude that's been seven years seven years out here no family well my brother was out here first but i've been living like out here on my own for a while okay yeah so you did did you decide to connect with your brother or oh yeah he was out here he was going to mmi institute for like how to build dirt bikes and stuff oh mmi me <laughs> okay yeah. nice and uh um, did he build like it? all you hear like when you go to like to visit him it's just all those kids you know like if, if you've ever like met a kid that <laughs> makes motorcycle sounds like send them to that school okay because he, like they feel alone you know what i mean like amongst other people because doing that stuff is just annoying and crazy as fuck but like yeah Dude, that's great. That sounds like Charlie Brown, ba- the adults from Charlie Brown saying something. Yeah. That's beautiful, it's like, man. You ever like ride in a car with those people and they go under like a bridge and you're just like, and they're like, bah, 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 and you're like, what are you doing? What are you doing? They're like, oh, well, on, the, on my bike, bro, you know, you, you do that and it's really loud. I'm like, you're not on your bike, bro. Oh, my God. Do you're they not... just have PTSD? Yeah. All the, do they have the language? I don't like... think they have PTSD, but they gave me PTSD. And I'm, I'm like, like every oh, time my... I go under the bridge now, I'm just like oh, looking for bikes. Can you imagine your brother having sex? No. And then he's no, just he's no. just about to climax. He's, he's going, he's like, <laughs> and then right when he's, <laughs> he just had a baby. Shout out to my brother. Nice when it popped out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Power band. <laughs> yeah. uh, oh no, it's a girl. <laughs> 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 they can't drive. <laughs> <I'm kidding. laughs> the first words of the kid. <laughs> oh my god. No, but that was my experience. Like first coming out here was just like hanging out with like all these motorheads. It was hilarious. It was so funny. <laughs> Dude. Like, Cause I'm not a motorhead. I don't know anything about cars. Okay. And, me neither. Yeah. And my brother just schools me on all that stuff. My younger brother, by the way. Damn. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I know. I really wish he was there when he came t- change that tire, but dude, fucking little brothers are such bastards. I love them. Mine. Love oh, them. well that's good because I hate mine, but no, I, I do love them. But one of them is a mechanical engineer and he's helping create these devices that gr- get rid of, um, and, and dissipate clots in your brain that could give you a stroke or if you were having a stroke he'll get rid of it and he's like oh so you do comedy you, oh you make people giggle that's so you try to do comedy <laughs> oh yeah yeah oh so you have a little podcast huh oh i haven't heard of any of those people okay right, great yeah. great you're yeah. not i saving. save lives right yeah i said oh, so you're like i am too 
I know. I'm like, fuck you, dude. Laugh. And he's like, <laughs> and yeah. then that's the actual device going in your your body. <laughs> Just clearing the blood clots. He's fucking yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Oh, these fuckers. So anyway, your your little brother. Then he moved out of Arizona. Where did he go? So, um, so we kicked. He was here for like 2015 to like 2018, I think. Okay. He was okay. here for some time. He went back and forth, but um, nice. Yeah, getting back to like the like motor. a dirt bike. Did he do a loop? Just Is that what he did? Yeah, just back and forth. And that's a long loop too, from Massachusetts it's to huge loop. Arizona. That's the longest loop, I mean, according to the Dirt Bike Association of Dirt Bikes. Yeah, big diagonal fucking. <laughs> it's just. Yeah. But wait, you. I also. So here's the deal. Tell, here's me, tell me, okay. tell me, tell me, tell me. So I've never been outside of like. I never. I don't think I. I like we went to Florida a couple times, but I've never been past like New York City. Right. Okay. So, like, coming out here, when I visited him the first time, he was like, all right, I'm going to bring you a Scottsdale. And we're, you can just take it from there. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, between the weather, the women, and all the comedy clubs. Oh, I thought you were going to go with a third W. But yes. <laughs> yeah, right? Yes. <laughs> the dub dub C. Yeah. I it's was, just. I was like, it's a no-brainer. Amazing. I was a no -bra it's a no-brainer. You know what it's I mean? It's so good. Yeah. And, like, coming out here. I wasn't even doing comedy myself. I was just coming out here as a fan. You know what I mean? And mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. within like the first year I saw Joey Diaz, nice, Joe Rogan, Tony Hinchcliffe, like all these people. And I'm just Holy like, shit. Yeah. I'm like, if I stayed back home, like I would have never saw these people. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it's like fantasy land That's coming out here and being able to see those people and now work with some of them. It's like, whoa, holy shit. Wow. Where did you see them? Was it at Tempe Improv yeah, Stand Up Live? Exactly. Damn, dude. Exactly. That's so cool. Like the first time a t uh, Kill Tony came around here, mm -hmm. you're just like, what? It's, what? You can't take your eyes off of it. Yeah. It's such an interesting experience. And you just like, Phoenix, we are so spoiled with like the amount of talent that comes through our area. We the are. Clubs that we have for us local comedians to perform on. I'm mm -hmm. like, it almost like, we don't have any like uh, big time comedians that like stay here. You know what I mean? Like right. live here. Right. right. But I'm like, if we did, this would be like the second place. Like this would be another Mecca. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think it's going to be. I think it is. You know, Rob Schneider moved mm -hmm. here. Rob Schneider. Who's that? I'm just fucking uh, Yeah. I, I don't really know him either. I'm just name dropping. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Rob, Rob Schneider. Uh, John Cleese. He's oh, really? kind of back and forth here. I don't know. So it's starting. I think it's starting. People are starting to come here. So it Arizona's kind of like the hidden, not hidden gem, but like the gem of like the U.S. that no one really knows about. You yeah, know what I mean, it's like the hot, scalding gem because it looks beautiful, and then you pick it up in the summertime, and you're like, "Holy fuck! I just burnt my skin." Phoenix gem, if you will. Yeah, a Phoenician gem. A Phoenician gem, if you will. Mm. The best of gems. It's like elk meat. No, nobody people are like mm, this i've heard about it but is it that good and then you have it and you just mm, you can't get satiated with any other type of flesh <laughs> after that right just so good yeah just so tender still if you have uh, any elk connects let us know please all the elk delis i want to get a sponsor an elk deli okay i want i'm looking at the three cameras here even though that one can't look at me but we're gonna I'm going to get some free elk merch, and then I'm going to give you some, Josh. How's that sound? My guy. Beautiful. All right. Well, we're going to wind <coughs> down. But, Josh, it was awesome having you on the pod, joking around, learning a little bit about you. How Wait, long do we go for? It's been about an hour and a half. Shut up. No, no. It's been – I don't even know when we started. 30 Let minutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, it's been 30. Yeah, but, dude, it feels like it just flew by. It felt like – a voyage of an elk. It just went so quickly. There's so many elk puns in this shit. There's so many. Well, we are cut from the same elk. You know? <laughs> <laughs> He's calling me white. Oh I'm god, white. we. Oh yeah. What's the whitest thing you've done in the last six months? Um, I mean, a lot of people can relate to this. Okay. Oh, well, don't look at me, bro. I'm. Okay, I'm really white. I mean, I'm probably I'm whiter than you are. I, I am mean, so white. Other than dating an Asian chick, I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's yeah. I went Brazilian. <laughs> yeah. I went like 90 day fiance. That's uh, where I went. I would say you know I just had I had some tacos on Tuesday. Bro, bro, 
The yeah. food taco on a Tuesday is probably one of the whitest things you can do. And then if you post about it on Instagram and say oh. hashtag Taco Tuesday. <laughs> no, the whitest thing you can do is you can be a Karen after we posted it telling us not to eat tacos. Oh, yeah. That's pretty – which I did tell you. Uh, thank you for calling me out. But, uh, you know, that's just – I was jealous. I wanted some tacos. <laughs> I had, I've been having a lot of Brazilian cuisine because my relatives are in town, in town, brother-in-law, sister-in-law, nephew, mm -hmm. four-year-old nephew, which you met. And so we've been having a lot of beans, a lot of rice, a lot of Brazilian food. Hell yeah, dude. I'm not a fan of beans and I'm not a fan of soup, but we've been having bean soup and then when you mix them together yeah oh man it's just not great but it's it's okay i've been having it it's been good we also yesterday we did the one chip challenge the pocky oh man that was hot stuff yeah yeah it's pretty I, have you heard of it you've heard of it i've right? seen it on tiktok where they the one chip thing kind of like rang a bell where they open up one chip out of a bag eat it Is that what you're yep about? all right yep and, and it's got puking. Too hot. Scorpion pepper and uh, no defined scorpion pepper. Like it comes from a scorpion. It comes from the venom of a scorpion. And what's it supposed to do? Poison you? It's supposed to burn so hot. Yeah, you know what? That just really pisses me off. Like, what are we doing? Like, who's the asshole that got this that venom poison from a scorpion? Put it into a chip and now sold it to you. It's the same guy. It, it's the same guy that tried to make eating Tide Pods a thing. He's just he wants us to continue to torture ourselves. You know, sometimes these marketing people, okay, they they think they know what's good for you, and they don't. It really, I, it really annoys the fuck out of me. That's a good point. No, no, no. I've never seen you get fired up like, like this, man. Not a fan of marketers. Here's not all of them. Not so, all of them. Joshua here is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that this guy, he wants, he says Earth, he's like a Thanos, if you will. And he's thinking Earth is too populated. It's causing a lot of problems. Here's what we got to do. Okay, we that I can get aboard, on board with. Kill the dumb ones. Just, <laughs> they're the ones that are going to buy this and eat it. Oh, and then, man, yeah, exactly. I'm not buying it. I've only watched it. I've only watched it. I've never bought it. I've never eaten it. Actually, you know what? I've, act yeah. <laughs> Stefan <laughs> turned well, over a new chip. Uh, yeah, this is no, I mean, because that way, if they do die, then people that get told that they're dead, they're like, well, what did they expect? They ate the world's hottest chip from they, they ate the blood of a scorpion. You know what? What did I they expect? I still see somehow like someone blaming it on COVID. Probably. And this is another just thing where people, I'm just kidding. They're We're like, not going to go there. I don't do conspiracy theories. They're like, well, that scorpion had COVID. So then it passed it on. And then it's just a huge infection. <laughs> right. But there's so many trends out there right now that people are doing that I can't think of off the top of my head. But right. that is like one of them where like I see people doing that and you're just like, no, don't, don't do it, man. Yeah. What's the hottest pepper you've ever had? Natural pepper. No pepper that's been like injected with like fucking scorpion come. snake venom yeah right right uh probably with this chip the carolina reaper okay i had i had a hot sauce i'm a huge hot sauce guy so i love hot sauce really i had yeah before or after the brazilian wife the brazilians don't like spice they're wow. right i was shocked Stu okay, i no. wish no 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 i no 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 i'll give you that one because i thought oh they're latin x whatever you call them now so <laughs> Good thing this is not live. <laughs> Good thing this is editing. Yeah. They are they are Hispanic, so they must love spice, right? And right. Then, they they must love spice. They must they love samba they, and spice like, and soccer and it was in the womb. Exactly. It was the liquid. They just get a little IV drip. They yeah. just they they sting the mom with a little bit of scorpion and then that. If venom it's not just, spicy, they're not happy. Exactly. Is they, what we would think. We would I think. totally would yeah. Continue. They're, yeah. they're just eating scorpions while watching soccer. Mm -hmm. You would imagine in headlocks. In he exactly while they're doing uh, fucking what is that capoeira? But anyway, so my wife didn't like spice until my dad introduced it to her because my dad he loves spice, and my little this is a strange thing. My mom likes spice too. She this ended up my my little brother when he was born. My mom went to let him suckle on her teat. However, a couple hours before. She had some really spicy Mexican food. That spice went down. I don't know how the irrigation works from irrigation. mouth to teat, <laughs> but it went. She said it was red. He was crying. 
he i think that's why he's gay <laughs> I'm gay, I'm gay. <laughs> Oh, we're so fucked on this podcast. <laughs> we are so. This is like a Chris Stefano <laughs> yeah. podcast. But anyway, so so your brother sucked a spicy tit and Correct. likes spice now or does not like spice. Does not like spice. Wow, bummer. He did the one teat challenge. The before. one teat. Ch- <laughs> and that it was, is good. It was not. I think we can great. start something with that. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, the I like spicy teat challenge. Everybody. Oh, I like that. Get. The woman to eat a scorpion and then you have to drink it you know what i'm not a fan of scorpions okay we i can was switch thinking it out. carolina reaper reaper okay yeah. natural okay i like that i like that um okay we can do that so a little bit of elk meat too. the reason why i asked you like uh what was you know what's the hottest pepper you've ever had is because i remember there was a time i was in seventh grade okay okay i'm imagining it 2002 and okay. 2001 I don't know. Okay. And Saturday or Sunday? It was a weekday because I was on the bus, right? Oh, so you did. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We were. I was on the bus with these kids, and one of these older kids had a Carolina Reaper. No yeah. way. Yeah. And they're like, these peppers are so hot. You don't want none of this boil. And I'm like, yeah, dude, I can definitely take it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm in seventh grade. And I've got a lot of experience with everything. So give me that pepper. I know things. I know a lot of things. Move over, Pitbull. There's a new mystery worldwide. Especially peppers that are not just rather green, white, (laughs) green bell peppers. You know what I mean? (laughs) That you get from a local grocer. Small town grocer. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Fucking God. And um, so this, um, this older kid goes, all right, dude, but seriously, just be careful. Okay, man. And I'm like. Yeah. What? what a nice kid. Yeah. I'm like, Whoever this a, guy was, props right? to him. Right. Rowan Signoni, you were a G. Very nice dude. And I Another was, Italian. I believe so. And Signoni. I was such a little shit back then. I was like, just give me the pepper. I can do this. Nice. Take like, you know, a nice bite. You know what I mean? Of a Carolina Take Reaper. one bite and swallow. I was like. That's what I tell my wife. And, uh. Dude, I've never cried like that in my life. Bro. I've never cried like that in my life. Like the excruciating pain on my throat, my stomach, my asshole when it came out the other end. Oh, my God. I (laughs) can't imagine. I was crying and like we got to like we were actually on our way to like end of the year party. (laughs) Like, you know what I mean? So like I like went in this woman's like house. Oh, okay. There was a party. Okay, I was wondering I where were you going no. when this woman. Yeah. Okay. okay. There was like this party, right? And it was okay. like one of my friends who's who was a woman, and it was like her friend. So it was like <laughs> this other woman. I had like no idea who the fuck he was, but I'm in her house, going to her fridge and just looking for milk, because I'm thinking, oh, milk's milk gonna solve will it. solve it, and it doesn't really, not really. Didn't work for me yesterday. Never actually, worked for me, and I'm literally like just pouring milk on my tongue like an idiot. Did you try to breastfeed? Because that's where, well, that's the exact opposite, nope. actually. No, yeah. no, nope. did not try that. Probably wouldn't have done that even if no it was available teats. Uh, yeah, <laughs> not option. even if that was an option. Uh, the woman's house, uh, you didn't say, woman, uh, lend me your teat. No, nah. nah. okay. So, all right, but I, but I remember just like going around, like running around this house. You know what I mean? Like milk's not gonna cut it. You know what I mean? So maybe I'll just like air dry my mouth and like air dry, yeah. like laundry. Yeah. Just, so you just have to like wait it out. And like the wait is so bad. It's like two hours later and I'm still just like, Ugh. like everyone's like, yo, don't talk to me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like oh, don't God. talk to me that reaper breath. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. Yeah. Damn. And it was well, it's probably just, good. Cause you couldn't talk anyway. I couldn't talk anyway. Yeah. I'm just, thank God I had a girlfriend at that time. Like it, it oh, was man. crazy. Yeah. So you I'll never you, forget that. I did, was in the backseat of the bus crying because of a uh, Carolina reaper. Damn, dude. At yeah. that age, I was in the back of the bus crying, but because the kids were relentless making fun of me mm-hmm. and how Italian I was, which is weird because I'm so white. You are. Yeah. They would call me a WAP. They'd call me a uh, Dago. What's a Dago? Dago is, oh, I don't even know. It's just a derogatory term for an Italian. 
Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. No, they, <laughs> I remember I was like, dude, I am whiter than you are. And they're like, doesn't matter to me, WAP. Get the fuck out of my country. I'm like, where'd you get that accent from? We're in Cottonwood, Arizona. Uh, like, doesn't uh, fucking uh, matter. Get out of here. Oh, my God. So it was rough. But um, anyway, dude, you know I'm glad cr- you survived. Oh, me too. Because you know what's also crazy about Arizona? Is like moving out here, it was like the first time you realize like everything is kind of out to get you. Yeah. The weather. It's not nice weather unless it's like now, like the winter, you know what I mean? But right, like a right. summer in Arizona. Mm, those sum sums. Those summers. Like you're not like, don't try it. Scalding. Don't try it. Our summer, we should just call our summer Arizona Reaper. Yeah, yeah. It's just so hot. We got an Arizona Reaper summer. Oh my God, dude. When it gets to that 120. What's the stupidest thing you've ever done in the summer? Like where you're just like, yeah, it was way too hot to do this. Oh, I remember. I remember I just moved here from New Jersey in New York. And I was, we chose a place that was close, uh, an apartment close to my work. And I was thinking, dude, I walk 45 minutes each day. No, an hour and a half. Holy shit. It was like an hour and a half each day in New Jersey when I, when I would work in Manhattan. So I'm like, I'll just walk to work. And it was June 2nd. Ugh. And it was 107 degrees. Yeah. It was a half hour walk. Oh, man. And I was drenched. Yeah. And I didn't have a shirt. I, well, wait. I had a work shirt, but I didn't have an extra shirt. So I had to go in and I got my picture taken because they were like, okay, <laughs> it's time to get your badge picture. They were so like, you badge- just walked an hour and heat. Time to take your picture. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So I have a picture of me with my hair all wet, drenched, and my whole, uh, you could see the sweat stains. It was awful. Wow. Yeah. So people would call me Sweaty Steph. From that point on, fucking horrible. That is hilarious. Yeah. One of the stupidest things I've ever done was a similar, no job included, but I just went for a normal hike. It was like okay. July. You know okay. what I mean? I'm yeah. Like, I, I'm like, you know, it's like 7 a.m. It's cool enough. We right. got to the, you know, peak, whatever, and yeah. like nine, two hours later. And it, because it was so fucking hot, you know what I mean? It took oh. me two hours just to get to the summit. And like by then it was like, you know, 107 to anywhere from 107 to like yeah. 115. You know yeah, I mean? yeah. 9 a.m. And Dude. you're just like looking at the sun. And then you're like, I don't know if I can get down. You know what I mean? Like you go through that. You're like, ah. This is my first summer in Arizona. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know if I can do this. Like, yeah, dude. Uh, same, same. And then you hear stories about like people getting people stuck. dying. Yeah. I, I haven't heard those yet. Oh, yeah. Don't worry. I've got a bunch. But oh, no, dude, I, I ended helicopter up. Helicopter coming? I did. Yeah. I ended up doing a night hike. Because my wife and I were like, we can't do anything in the summer. And I thought, night hike. It'll be cool. And it was June. It was still 106, something like that. And we do pièce de The first time. Yeah. Pièce oh, de tell me your story. I'm going to tell you my pièce de Oh, after. basically, <laughs> we barely made it up. My wife had only eaten nuts that day. <laughs> and... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know where you're going with that. They were <laughs> deep nuts. <laughs> yeah, deep de- de- nuts. Got it. Uh, uh, no, but but that was it. And so we we she was close to passing out. Oh, it's yeah. a real thing. It was bad. Like you will definitely. It's like dizzy, but like you don't see stuff spinning. You just kind of like feel your brain spinning. Yeah, and you're like, whoa! I'm, I think I'm about to pass the fuck out. I I when I start to see just spinning elk around me, that's when I know it's time. Mm. It's almost time to die. So I was at the same spot, right? Okay. How do you pee peak? Pee peak. Pies de wah. Pies de wah peak, baby. Yeah. I was with fellow comedians, Abrar. Oh, there. many are. Nice. Yeah. And uh, Jonathan Ponciano. Oh, fuck that guy. And, no, I'm uh, kidding. I love Jonathan. <laughs> I love Jonathan. Yeah. Great guy. And um, we're doing a night hike as well, right? Damn. Okay. And um, so it's my first, my one and only night hike that I've ever done, actually. So probably smart. I came walking stick, a flashlight. You know what I mean? Water. I was like, there's no way in hell I'm going to get messed up on this. Dude, you are putting up a good defense against the elements. I drank some pre-workout big time. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Spring a little creatine. Joshua is like an element warrior here. You are fighting. So, okay. We get to the first, like, diagonal thing the first like checkpoint you know what i mean Mm -hmm. i'm like all right so this is it huh and they're like no i'm like how are you guys even seeing and abrahar's like (laughs) i was about to do an indian accent not gonna no please that's fine (laughs) he's like no he's He's like we go by the moon (laughs) you know what i mean and i'm just like (laughs) 
You go by the moon. Okay, yeah. What if you see a snake or something? You know what I mean? I'm thinking snake, scorpion, spider. Right. I want to see it. I do not want to step on it down. I do not want to be surprised. Any of that. Right. So I got my flashlight out, and both of them are like, ha ha, you fucking loser. You know what I mean? Like, right. I'm like, oh, God, I just gave these guys jokes for days. Oh. So we get to the top. It's a great view. We take some pics. Cute. We're walking down. And Abrar takes lead, and all of a sudden, I don't know how he did it, but he trips or does something, and then just totally blows out his ankle. Oh, the first time I met him, he was wearing crutches. He was yeah. on crutches, yeah. and that was it. Uh-huh. And, Damn. Uh, we were so smart. That's how smart comedians are, that we were like, wow, let's see it. And he took off his shoe, which you're not supposed to do. And it, it instantly, like, we saw it go from, like, ankle to, like, baseball. Like, we saw it do that. And we're and he was like, he was like, shit, like, maybe I shouldn't have taken off my shoe. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so then we still have, like, a little bit more than halfway to go down. And then How'd so, you get him down, dude? So Ponce is like, Ponce is like, let me carry you. And I'm like, this is a bad idea. Horrible idea. Yeah. yeah. So we do it. And, of course... Five steps into the process, Ponce falls down, slightly hurts himself. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, so you carry both of them. Automatically, I'm dragging both of them by, you know, their ankles. <laughs> <laughs> and um, no. So Abrar gets on one leg and hops all the way down. All the way down. Taking breaks. You know what I mean? The longest hike in my fucking life. Oh, my yeah. God. Dude. I, it's one of those things where, like, if you weren't there with two other comedians, you would just be like. You know what I mean? Yeah. This sucks. But the whole time you're just like laughing and you're just like just making jokes and puns and you're like laughing at him. Like, Damn. Yeah. <laughs> we'll go. Abrar, one hot minari. <laughs> <laughs> and then Pond's like, he makes it. You know what I mean? But we, but yeah. So <laughs> Abrar blows out his ankle. He has to drive himself to like urgent care. And like, oh, shit. Yeah. Shit. And that was like a Wednesday night. Yeah. When we just should have went to an open mic instead. We just should have went, you know. That's why. And he didn't have I'm, any bits about it. I've no? never heard him talk about it on stage. And I'm like, dude, you, we didn't just go through that for you I, not to talk about it. Right? Did like, you? Well, you know what you need to do is make bits about that. I think and just I totally do. shit all over it, bro. Yeah. Do the Indian accent. Go full. Just commit. <clears throat> all right. Let's see if I can do an Abrar accent. <laughs> All right, so when Abrar talks to me, he's like, oh, he'll be like, um. And this is not making fun of Indian people. This is just, Abrar is Indian, and he has an he's accent. He's our homie. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Um, good thing we can edit this. <laughs> fair. Fair. But, I don't know, he, like, if I was to do, like, make an impression of Abrar, right? Right. <clears throat> I would do something like, this is Abrar, like, in Walmart. Okay. Like, looking at cereal. Okay. Okay. Lucky Charms. Oh, I can't do it. I can't do it. But <laughs> Lucky Charms. He'd be, like, he'd be like looking at prices. You know what I mean? He'd yeah. Be like, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Three dollars ninety nine cents. Hmm. Three dollars seventy five cents. I think so. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> I won. <laughs> yeah, that's not that's not a good impression. Off. You got it. Was, I hope you cut that out. Spot on. <laughs> phenomenal. I gotta hang out with him again. I can I can definitely pretty... do one once I hang out with him because he he's so funny. He was just um hosting for Matt Rife at Stand Up Live. Oh, nice. And that was nice. so fun. Oh my god, Matt Rife's a funny dude. Very nice. Like, I could not believe the hospitality that dude had in the green room and just being very nice. Oh, that's great. Oh, yeah. And then Abrar was the uh, opposite. Host. Oh, okay. Very yeah. much the opposite. He was the host. Oh, okay. Definitely not the headliner. You know what I mean? Okay. Very yeah, right. Right. Yeah. Like just bottom of the totem pole. <laughs> <laughs> I love Abrar. Yeah. I love Abrar. But you know what I love about Abrar too is like what's so fun, and this is going to sound so fucking white, but I don't give a shit. No, go it's for it. It's like one of the things was like in Massachusetts is like I was really around like a lot of just like white people. You know what I mean? Like, Gross. I guess I did have an Asian girlfriend back then, too. <laughs> of course you did. <clears throat> but, like... Was she real she was or... A, she was real. Blow up. She was, okay, okay. She was a real... <laughs> with flesh. <laughs> she, was, she was the fleshy kind. Yeah. She was real. She was Okay, real. great. Great. But, um, like, coming out here, it's just so diverse. You know what I mean? Yeah. And you, you just get to hang. Like, 
there was no like Brazilian people where I'm from. You know, they were, yeah, in yeah. My, in my in my hometown, like where I grew up. Yeah. At least not when I was. Mm-hmm, so it was like mm-hmm. coming out here, you were just like so overly exposed to like everything. That's what I love about Phoenix. Yeah. It's like some people call it like the cookie cutter like city because we do have so many like big chain restaurants everywhere. Right. But go down, you like get off the main, uh, like the highway roads, right? Like op, right? like go away from the highway. And like every little small plaza has so many mom and pop shops. For sure. There's so much culture. I 100%. love it, dude. Like there's Jamaican food out here. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. The best, <clears throat> definitely the best like Mexican food. I love oh, Mexican yes. Si, sí, senor. There's bomb sushi here. Oh, you know I mean? arigato. I couldn't think of another word. Anything to say, yeah. And there's good Indian food, too. There's good Indian food, too. That... <laughs> Are you doing this so that I'll do the accents? No. Oh, okay, okay. I wasn't, okay, okay. I wasn't okay. doing that at all now. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> seven. Amazing. Well, dude, I you've accomplished so much. We've talked <clears throat> about so much. The only thing that I want to ask you um, is... In the future, this year, 2022, fresh year. It's not even out of the bag. It's still there. Beautiful condition. What do you want to do with 2022? What are your goals? What do you want to achieve? Mm. So legit, what? In like a perfect world, right? Okay. So I just want to like chase festivals and I would want to have that one like team from like Phoenix that's just like straight up comedians. Nice. You know, what I mean? you know like a suburban basketball team? Like Hell the, yeah. The traveling team. Yeah. I would want like a traveling team for Phoenix where I could be like, all right, cool. So there's a festival uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday in Denver, in Portland, in mm-hmm. Houston again. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like bring this team and just do like a Phoenix takeover. That would be so sick. Get it all How would you? Oh, my God. This just seems so epic. I think obviously there would need to be some sort of team call, like a conch. But it need to be Phoenix style. So maybe you hollow out a saguaro cactus. Obviously, that's illegal, and you get up to twenty five years in prison. So we're not going to do that. But like, you know, some sort of cactus, and then you just do, a roar, and then we assemble. Well, I'm assuming I would be a part of it, but I probably wouldn't be. But maybe like a bra. And <laughs> it's like I'm the leader. No, no, no. I no. blow the horn. No, no. Fucking guy. <laughs> oh no, I wouldn't. I, I'm well. I, I blow horns, but anyway. So yeah, just uh, it's getting so cold. So 2022. In here. Yeah, 2022. That sounds awesome, man. It sounds really cool, and I'm really happy for you. I do mean this. I'm very. I'm being serious. I'm proud of you for <laughs> for everything that you've done, and just it's so cool to be able to have seen you back when we banged when you showed me your drone, and now. We're about, uh, well, I don't even know if you would even want to bang me because you're just so high up there and I'm so proud of you. So keep going. I wish, I'll say this too. I wish that there were more people like you in the mm-hmm. world, but like selfishly speaking in the Phoenix scene because I feel like we would be elevated so much more quickly. Damn. I appreciate you, Stefan. Yeah. And that's all. Do you have anything else you want to say? And oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, uh. <coughs> <coughs> First off, pleasure to have you and wanted to ask, do you have anything to plug? What have you got going on? Where can people follow you? All that good stuff. Got you. You can go to joshuajamesboyle.com for all my upcoming shows. You can go to Instagram at JJB Comedy and YouTube. I'll be having some stuff coming out there in February. I'm going to be doing a lot more live shows. Nice. Vlog, maybe a podcast. I don't know. There'll be some content too. Um, that's going to be heavy feathers. Excellent. Dude, thank you again. This has been a blast. And, uh, you know, just two white guys doing a pod. Yeah, in Phoenix. All right, Reapers. We'll see you later. <laughs> Reapers. <laughs>